Xanthalasma. It's a mouthful, isn't it? But don't let the name scare you. These are small, yellowish bumps or growths. You usually find them around your eyelids. They're soft to the touch and painless. Xanthalasma is more common as we age, and while they're harmless, they can be a cosmetic concern for some. But here's the interesting part. Xanthalasma often points to something else going on in your body. Think of xanthalasma as a friendly warning sign, a gentle nudge from your body telling you to pay attention to your health, particularly your cholesterol levels. In the following sections, we'll delve deeper into the causes of xanthalasma and explore natural ways to address them. Imagine tiny deposits of cholesterol, like little yellow beads gathering just beneath your skin. That's essentially what xanthalasma is. These deposits are made up of fatty substances, primarily cholesterol. Now, cholesterol isn't all bad. Your body needs it for essential functions. But when you have too much cholesterol circulating in your bloodstream, it can start to accumulate in unwanted places, like under your eyelids, forming xanthalasma. So xanthalasma can be a visible indicator of high cholesterol, a condition that often doesn't have any noticeable symptoms in its early stages. By understanding the connection between xanthalasma and cholesterol, you can take proactive steps towards protecting your heart, health, and improving your skin's appearance. High cholesterol is often the culprit behind xanthalasma. This condition manifests as yellowish deposits around your eyes, and it's more than just a cosmetic concern. Cholesterol travels through your bloodstream in packages called lipoproteins. These lipoproteins are essential for transporting cholesterol to various parts of your body where it's needed. There are two main types, LDL, or low-density lipoprotein, and HDL, or high-density lipoprotein. Each type plays a different role in your body's cholesterol management. Think of LDL as the bad cholesterol. It carries cholesterol to your arteries, where it can form plaque. High levels of LDL cholesterol can lead to plaque buildup in your arteries, increasing your risk of heart disease. This buildup can restrict blood flow, leading to serious cardiovascular issues. HDL, on the other hand, is the good cholesterol. It helps to remove cholesterol from your bloodstream. It acts like a scavenger, picking up excess cholesterol and carrying it back to your liver for removal. This process helps to keep your arteries clear and reduces the risk of plaque formation. When you have high levels of LDL cholesterol or low levels of HDL cholesterol, you're more likely to develop xanthalasma. This imbalance can be a warning sign of underlying health issues. These cholesterol imbalances can be caused by a combination of genetic factors and lifestyle choices, particularly your diet. Eating a diet high in saturated fats and trans fats can raise your LDL levels, while a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains can help boost your HDL levels. Regular exercise and avoiding smoking are also crucial in maintaining healthy cholesterol levels. While high cholesterol is a primary cause, Xanthalasma can also be linked to other health conditions. Diabetes, for instance, can affect your body's ability to regulate blood sugar and fat metabolism, potentially contributing to xanthalasma development. Liver disease, particularly a condition called primary biliary cirrhosis, can also increase your risk. This autoimmune disease affects the bile ducts in your liver, which play a crucial role in fat digestion and cholesterol management. Genetics also plays a part. If your family has a history of xanthalasma or high cholesterol, you might be more susceptible to developing these conditions yourself. Understanding these underlying factors can help you take a more comprehensive approach to managing xanthalasma and improving your overall health. Section five, diet and xanthalasma. Is there a link? What you eat directly impacts your cholesterol levels. A diet high in saturated and trans fats, often found in processed foods, fatty meats and fried foods, can raise your LDL cholesterol. These unhealthy fats can contribute to plaque buildup in your arteries, increasing your risk of heart disease and xanthalasma. On the other hand, a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and healthy fats can help lower your LDL cholesterol and raise your HDL cholesterol. These foods provide fiber, antioxidants, and essential nutrients that support heart health and overall well-being. Section 6. The Power of Nutrition fighting back naturally. Your diet can be a powerful tool in managing xanthalasma. Embrace a plant-based approach, focusing on whole, unprocessed foods. Load up on fruits and vegetables bursting with antioxidants and fiber. Choose whole grains over refined grains for their heart-healthy benefits. Incorporate healthy fats like those found in avocados, nuts, seeds, and olive oil. 
These foods can help lower LDL cholesterol and improve your cholesterol ratio. By making conscious food choices, you can nourish your body from within and support healthy cholesterol levels. Section 7. Home Remedies, Can They Help? While home remedies shouldn't replace medical advice, some natural ingredients might offer potential benefits in reducing the appearance of xanthalasma. Garlic, for instance, contains compounds with potential cholesterol-lowering properties. Coriander seeds, a staple in traditional medicine, have also been suggested as a natural remedy for xanthalasma. However, it's essential to approach these remedies with caution and consult with your healthcare provider before incorporating them into your routine. They can assess your individual health status, consider any potential interactions with medications or existing conditions, and guide you towards safe and appropriate options. Section 8. Garlic, a natural remedy with potential. Garlic, a pungent bulb with a long history of medicinal use, has shown promise in reducing cholesterol levels. This versatile ingredient has been used for centuries in various cultures, not just for its flavor, but also for its potential health benefits. Allicin, a sulfur-containing compound found in garlic, is believed to be responsible for its cholesterol-lowering effects. When garlic is chopped or crushed, allicin is released, which is thought to contribute to its medicinal properties. Studies have suggested that garlic supplements might help lower LDL cholesterol and raise HDL cholesterol. LDL, often referred to as bad cholesterol, can lead to plaque buildup in arteries, while HDL, or good cholesterol, helps remove it. While more research is needed to confirm these findings, incorporating garlic into your diet could be a flavorful way to potentially support heart health. Adding garlic to salads, sautés, and other dishes not only enhances taste but may also offer health benefits. Add crushed or minced garlic to your favorite savory dishes, or try roasting whole garlic bulbs for a milder, sweeter flavor. Roasted garlic can be spread on bread or mixed into sauces for a delicious twist. Remember to consult with your healthcare provider before taking garlic supplements, especially if you're on blood thinning medications. It's important to ensure that garlic supplements won't interfere with any medications you may be taking. Section nine, coriander seeds, a traditional approach. Coriander, a versatile herb used in cuisines worldwide, has seeds that have been traditionally used to address various ailments, including high cholesterol. The seeds are often ground into a powder or used whole in various culinary dishes, adding a unique flavor and potential health benefits. While scientific evidence to support its effectiveness for xanthalasma is limited, some people believe that coriander seeds might offer potential benefits. These seeds are rich in essential oils and bioactive compounds that are thought to have anti-inflammatory and lipid-lowering properties. Coriander seeds contain antioxidants and compounds that might aid in digestion and lipid metabolism. These properties could potentially help in managing cholesterol levels, which is a contributing factor to xanthalasma. Some proponents suggest soaking a teaspoon of coriander seeds in water overnight and drinking the water in the morning on an empty stomach. This traditional remedy is believed to help cleanse the body and improve overall health. However, it's crucial to note that these claims are largely anecdotal and require further scientific investigation. Current research is not sufficient to conclusively prove the effectiveness of coriander seeds for treating xanthalasma. If you're considering using coriander seeds for xanthalasma, consult with your healthcare provider to ensure their safety and suitability for your individual health status. It's important to approach such traditional remedies with caution and seek professional advice. Section 10, Lifestyle Changes, Your Allies in the Fight. Lifestyle modifications play a crucial role in managing xanthalasma and improving your overall health. Regular physical activity can help lower LDL cholesterol, raise HDL cholesterol, and improve your body's sensitivity to insulin, which is beneficial if you have diabetes. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise most days of the week. Find activities you enjoy, whether it's brisk walking, swimming, dancing, or cycling. Maintaining a healthy weight is also essential. If you're overweight or obese, Losing even a small amount of weight can positively impact your cholesterol levels and reduce your risk of developing xanthalasma. Section 11, embracing a holistic approach for healthy skin. Remember, addressing xanthalasma requires a multifaceted approach. While home remedies might offer potential benefits, it's crucial to consult with your healthcare provider for personalized guidance. By embracing a holistic approach that encompasses a healthy diet, regular exercise, 
stress management, and medical guidance, you can take proactive steps towards managing xanthalasma and improving your overall well-being, both inside and out. Remember, your skin is a reflection of your inner health, and by prioritizing your well-being, you're investing in vibrant, radiant skin for years to come.